Hi, and this is a tutorial for how to make a fake virus in Visual Basic 2008. So what you want to do first, well first I'm going to show you um, actual, the actual application we're going to run today, which is this, it's called Free Stuff. It's got a text box here, type what you want here, get it free. Got a checkbox free button. Uh, so yeah, so I'll show you how it works. So you type what you want. Booty booty. Um well from all around the world, that's just a fake thing. Get it free and it says illegal. You are prosecuted, police will enter your premises in ten hours. And they go, Oh shit, I hate this. They go exit, and it keeps coming up with all these errors, computer failing, virus detected, error, do not delete files, file, files deleted. Then they go browse files, could not open files, all files deleted, and you press OK, it closes it. So, you're going to learn how to do that today. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Visual Basic and create a new project. I'm sure it's a Windows form application. I do whatever you want. Oops. Name it whatever you want. Alright. So make the form however big you want. And you can go ahead and rename it so going down to text go error whatever if you want to get rid of this icon that's easy you just go show icon false and it gets rid of it okay insert three buttons today one two three okay it's easy I'll just insert all the stuff, then we can sort it out. I want to insert a text box and put it, you know, just lay it out however you want. Let's do it pretty quickly. Put my button there, browse button there, and exit. Okay. So, now, that's pretty much all you need to do, and if you want to make it look more nice, you can go into photo, what, if you click on this actual form, gives you a size, and you can go and edit a background in Photoshop or something, to make a 3D background like you saw before, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just add a background colour, so go up to back colour, the arrow, go custom, let's have green. Okay. So now, once that's done, just make sure it's set out how you want. Okay. So you're going to click on the text box. And you go down to text again. Text. And go text goes here. Now you rename the buttons. Button one can be get it free. Button two can be browse files. And button three can be Exit. Okay, exit. Browse files and get it free. Okay, so I want to begin the coding. I'll put all the codes in the description to make it easier for you. So you want to double click on get it free. This is pretty simple text. Oh, uh, code, sorry. Go text box one dot text equals 
Oops. Equals those little. Oh, it's alright. Equals then those little thingies and this is when it comes up illegal. So when you press get it free, the text goes in the text box. So whatever you want. So I'll go error. Then you want to close it like that and just press enter. Make sure after every code you press enter. So now if we start, if we go play our form, we've got our text, our buttons. Text goes here. Hello. Get it free. And you'll see it puts in error. So that's what we've got so far. So go back to VB Design. And next we can do exit because that's probably the biggest one. Double click on that and go um M mess message box um message box let's see error error bracket message box dial dot now it can look for whatever you want the one for the big red cross is critical but you've got all these selections they're the little pictures if you've got an error or something so I'll go critical then enter okay now you can just copy this Copy that code we just did, and as many times as you want, you can paste it. Error. I'll just do it twice for the sake of time. Error. I'll go. Virus. Okay, you can just change it like that. So, okay, so that's that done. I'm nearly done. Finally, the browse files. Okay, it's the same as this, so just paste it. And instead of critical, you can go make it. Oops, make it an exclamation mark. You can write it in or just look for it. Exclamation. Like that. Alright, so. Oh yeah, I also forgot the checkbox. So you can search for that. Checkbox, put it wherever you want. And that text can be search the world. Search the world. Like that. Right, enter. Alright. So, if we go play our little triangle up here, start debugging our form. So, let's see if it worked. Oh, oh, I forgot as well. Go back into exit where we did all these. And after, oh, whoops, I one. Go back into browse files. And after your code here, your message box, you're going to go enter just go this is the easiest code end and when you press ok that'll actually close the program so we go start debugging so hi get it free error you can click search the world go exit that's our message box Virus, that's our second message box. Browse files, and you can write um, error, um, all files deleted, but I just made it this tutorial quick and we'll click OK. It closes the program. And if you want to publish, li pub publish it to your computer, go build, publish error, and you just follow all the stuff from on there. So that's 
basically it. Um, this is my second tutorial, so it's my first time with Camtasia 6, so sorry for the bad video if it is. So, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe if you liked it, and yeah, hopefully I'll have some more tutorials soon. Bye.